Good, beautiful morning, folks. Hobo handliner here. So I'm at a lake I've never fished before that's close to my new house. This is Canoe Creek. Um, a lot of people who live in the area fish here. This place has musky in it. It's stocked with trout. It's got bass, crappie, all that classic style of uh, smaller fishing that I could be doing. But some really big fish in here, catfish. Um, yeah, so I'm just really excited to get out here and uh, scout around a little bit, do some fishing for the first time in this spot ever. Uh, if you guys are looking forward to that, stay tuned. I'm going to hike around to a couple different spots on the bank. As you can see, the sun isn't even up yet. I'm just uh, taking a peek, but I mean, look at that beautiful morning. New spot. Can't wait. Right on. I'll see you after that intro, guys. All right, guys, I think we found our first spot. There's a log. I just seen some fish jumping out there. Looks like a good little spot to uh, put on a float rig. Maybe test out some of those uh, Bobby Garland plastics that I've been using a little bit. Adjust my depth, see if there's anything out here. Let's get rigged up and uh, toss a few casts around. There's a fish, guys. Feels pretty good. Didn't take long at all. Let's see what we got. It's a good fish. It's real nice. That was like three casts in, and I had bites every cast. Is this a crappie? I would love if this was a crappie. If this was a nice crappie. What do we got? It's a crappie. Nice. Not too big, but it's a crappie within three casts, guys. So they are here. Cool. I'm not going to take a picture because it's small. That's a beautiful, beautiful early morning crappie. So if I can get my, uh, my hook out of his mouth. Come on. Boy, he really swallowed that thing. Hungry old boy. Hmm. Well, hold please while I get this uh, hook out of his mouth. There's a fish, guys. Feels pretty good. Didn't take long at all. Let's see what we got. It's a good fish. It's real nice. That was like three casts in, and I had bites every cast. Is this a crappie? I would love if this was a crappie. This is a nice crappie. What do we got? It's a crappie. Nice. Not too big, but it's a crappie within three casts, guys. So they are here. Cool. I'm not going to take a picture because it's small. That's a beautiful, beautiful early morning crappie. So if I can get my, uh, my hook out of his mouth. Come on. Boy, he really swallowed that thing. Hungry old boy. Hmm. Well, hold please while I get this uh, hook out of his mouth. Well guys, I, I got the hook out of him. It was pretty gruesome, so I just trimmed that bit out. Uh, he did not make it, so I chucked him back in as like food for a catfish or something. But uh, 
Yeah, which is pretty, pretty gross. So let's keep fishing. There's one, guys. Feels a little bit better. This one's fighting like crazy. There's a lot of fish out there. I've been getting a lot of bites. I haven't necessarily gotten hook sets on all of them, but they are out there. They're piled up. Let's see if this is another crappie and let's see if it's any bigger. All right, buddy. What do we got? What do we got? It's another crappie. And it is not any bigger. Even though it felt much bigger. I hope he didn't choke it as hard as that last one. No, he didn't. It's through the cheek. I can handle that. There we go. Another crappie. Little guy. <clears throat> My goodness, guys. There's so many fish loaded on this bank. I cast that one out as soon as it hit the water I had a fish on after I set. This feels better. This potential, ooh. Okay, this one has a little bit of weight to him. I'm almost curious if this is a trout. It kind of feels trouty. But I could be way off. But it is pulling like a much better fish. And like possibly a different species. Nope, it's a crappie. Huh, I was way off. And it is not a big crappie. Wow, there's a bajillion of them out here. Huh, he was fighting like crazy. Ah, that sun's coming up, that's beautiful. Let's keep going. There's one. Got There's a lot of fish out here, guys. I can see why it's popular. There's a lot of fish out here. Oh, this thing came up to the surface. None of the crappies so far this morning have done that, so maybe it's a little different. Maybe. Please be a little bigger. Smallest one yet. I think it's absolutely tiny. Fourth crappie of the day, and he's just a dinky thing. Alright, I'm gonna go get my bag and keep moving down down the bank. So I lied, I actually cast one more time at the original spot we stopped at because I wanted to get one right by that log, and I did. And he actually looks like potentially so far the biggest one of the day. Yeah, he is. Just by a hair. <laughs> well, maybe not. Probably tied with the biggest one. Oh goodness, he's hooked through the eyeball. Why can't you guys just eat normally? Oh goodness. Oh goodness, I'm so sorry, pal. All right, guys, this it's kind of gory. Okay, I'm almost got it out. All right, he'll be all right.
I wanted to give you guys a wider shot, so I set up the tripod because it's a really pretty spot that I'm in right now. And there we go, there's another crappie, another small one, kind of like my normal reservoir that I fish in a lot. Um, I just have a habit of catching these six to nine inches. Let's see if we can get some bigger ones. Surprise, surprise, another absolute dink. Dinky little thing. I want to catch something bigger. I might be switching over to a Carolina rig and power bait soon. I think I'm going to try one more fish on this, but there's a ton of trout jumping, guys. A lot of trout. Yep, I'm switching over to that Carolina rig, guys, because I'm tired of catching fish that are that size. As much as I like catching fish, I mean, that's a five inch crappie. Five inches. So let's try the Carolina rig, see if we can get on some trout. Right on. Okay, guys. <laughs> Carolina rig isn't getting any attention, so we're gonna switch back over to the float rig, but we're gonna try a trout magnet and some different colors, give it a smaller profile instead of that Bobby Garland with a bigger jig head, see if we can entice some maybe panfish to bite or something, um, maybe some trout, but the trout aren't going after the, um, the Carolina bottom rig with the garlic scented power bait, so we'll try something else. guys so far the nicest crappie of the day on that little natural colored greenish red uh trout magnet let's get a picture of them and let them go all right there we go guys about an eight incher let's keep going well guys i can't believe i'm saying this but i'm actually going to go back to the jig head with the bobby garland a little bit heavier, a little more casting distance. It's a much bigger profile, but that seemed to be the trick for all these fish today. So pretty much gonna end up right where we started. That's okay. But um, yeah, go with what works, keep it simple. So we'll go back to uh, this guy on a loop knot, tied under the float and see if we can get some more fish on that. That is the most beautiful black crappie I have ever seen. 
Oh my goodness. I have never seen one this dark. I am definitely getting a picture of him. Holy cow. That is a gorgeous fish. Back on that Bobby Garland. Wow. Gorgeous crappie. Holy cow. Picture time. All right, guys. He may be small, only like seven inches, but he is probably the most beautiful crappie I have ever caught. We'll let him go and see if we can get a couple more. Another beautiful colored black crappie. A little bit bigger. Nice, vivid, vivid colors. Definitely worth a picture. All right. It's funny on this side, I switched locations. They got real dark. I don't know if these are like spawning fish or what, but I'm all for it. So funny story, my buddy Logan must must be out here on a boat or something because he texts me or well, Facebook messages me. He's like, hey, where you're standing, about five, ten steps to your left, there's a big old laying down tree. Sure enough, first cast on it, got a little crappie. Um, I can tell there's a bunch of fish down there. If I could get a bass, that'd be sweet. But uh, yeah, thanks, Logan. I'll make sure I let you know to watch this. Uh, and you're out there somewhere spying on me. <laughs> so that's pretty cool. Huh. I'll tell you what, this Logan, man, he was right two for two by this giant laid down tree. Nice. Thanks, buddy. Beautiful colored up crappie, another picture worthy fish. This uh, laid down tree is definitely proven to be pretty good, so make sure I have to uh, share this video with Logan. Well, there you go, buddy. Nice, beautiful, pushing eight inch crappie. Let's get a picture. All right, let's let this pretty fish go and catch one more if we can. I got 10% battery left. Beautiful fish. Well guys, I just snagged and broke off on the log. That's all right. The wind's starting to pick up a little bit. It pushed my, uh, float in the spot I didn't really want it that's okay ended on a nice colored up black crappie thanks again Logan for pointing out this big old tree I wouldn't have known it was there without you 
and uh yeah that wraps this up guys tons of crappie three that were the darkest i've ever seen uh got good pictures of them nothing too big but i can tell i'm gonna really enjoy this spot especially uh back here on the back side of the reservoir or i don't know which side this is but it seems like it's less popular so until next time guys appreciate you watching i'm the hobo handliner signing off